I've got the brain fever. All right, let's go ahead and take another look at grid creation here within Flipgrid now that we've got the new updates as of August 1st. So we have the three different options. This video is gonna be all about the public grids or PLC grids. You notice it does say here that this is for participants 16 years and older. So be sure to check out these other two options if you're gonna do this with students. This is a good way though to get those fun grids that are out there, kind of like Claudio Zavala's Sing a Song and other ones that you may wanna have um, your peers and, and other teachers and educators collaborating on it and then some of your older students. We click on that option, we give it the grid name and the code just like we always have. Select your picture and say next. So then it's gonna bring up this kind of final warning or information page just saying that you can add a password if you want to. You can toggle that on and enter it right here. Or you can always add that later as well. For right now I'm gonna leave that off. And then you can see the notes down here that there are other ways to create your grids as I've already mentioned. So we just say launch my grid. And now we can give that code out just like we always have through all the other methods. The only difference now when you're working with this is you've already got your topic. You get into your topic and you get to that grid. And when you get ready to start updating or posting your video, you're gonna get this box that says, hey, you have to authenticate. So you do still have to have an email account of some form and it's going to force you to put that in. So just once that's in, then everything else is ready to go. And at the end of your video, you're not going to have to worry about doing anything else with posting your information. So it's a little bit more work up front, but not really much. Once you get that email authenticated, you'll be ready to go. So hope this comes in handy as you get those grids created. Make sure that you're thinking about the three different types. And if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to the hashtag FlipGridFeverCommunity on Twitter. There's bound to be somebody there that will be willing to help you with the questions. Oh my God,